Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Blue Ridge Frenchie video. I know it's been a minute. I got COVID. I got sick. I'm sorry. Love me. Tell me I'm pretty. Anyway, season five uploaded in its entirety on the channel, but we also did something magical in this season. For the first time, we made the college playoffs. We'll be doing the playoff mod tool so that we can do a eight team playoff. That's the highest we can do with the tool. And so we're going to be doing that and see how far we can take these Blue Ridge Frenchies and see if we can win it all. If you enjoy these videos, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let's get into it, baby. Your Heisman winner, unfortunately, is not a Frenchie. We're not even up there. Honestly, our offense wasn't really ever insane, you know? It was our defense that carried us all year. Heyman got the Jet Award. That doesn't shock us, especially the way he ended the season. I'm gonna add it to my profile. Now, hold on, before we do this, we have to, we have to, we have to edit some things, if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna make a new save. And now what I have to do is I have to open the tool here. Step one, we gotta make the bracket, okay? Open file. Chat, I have a how-to pulled up on this too. You gotta keep in mind, this is the first time we've really had to do this, so I don't, oh, so it's gonna, it's gonna take me a little bit, it's gonna take me a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna take me just a little bit. Keep in mind, we replaced Old Dominion so the, the logo's incorrect we gotta fix that we will okay blue ridge will be playing iowa state in game one alabama will be playing texas a and m utep will be playing penn state you got notre dame and uh ucla battling it out chat we're gonna come over here utep was one of them so we're gonna go ahead and sim this game we're gonna penn state and utep are playing we're gonna sim this game What'd that just say happen UTEP beat Penn State. What the fuck? Is UTEP really good? CLA is going to play this game. So we're going to sim this game. And I didn't see who won, but we're going to come down here and look. UCLA beat Notre Dame. Wow. Okay. Alabama and Texas A&M are playing as well. Sim. Texas A&M beat Alabama in an upset. Holy shit. So what was that? That was two upsets and one UTEP clubbing. Now we got to play ours. Iowa State is an 88 overall team even though we're the number one team it almost feels like we are 100 percent uh underdogs here we're gonna go with the alternate home unis the mint stripes will be the predominant I, one i just don't even know what and to we do will do it hands. in the name of our seniors Happy birthday, Dimitri, in the name for the of our Street. seniors swanee allentown mikey Heyman. I, we I have to do this to do with for the boys we'll cover one action Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Their quarterback is just running away. Third and three. He threw it right at me. You stupid bitch. Oh my God. It feels so nice to see a pick and it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Can he do it? Can he do it? Right there. Oh my God. A missed on the attempt of the deflection and John Heyman's going to get a 25 yard reception. That ball was thrown late, but somehow he gets it. We ride the handoff. And we're going to get through and get a first down. Let's go. Five-yard gain for Jam in me. They're throwing that bitch. She might fall, break her neck. I have no idea. Oh, my God. He's hurt. Okay, listen. I'm going to sub King in. Or wait. It says, wait, wait, wait. Keep. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to let him sit on the sideline until he needs to. I'm not trying to hurt him more. Third and one. Picks up the block. Yes, Jam in me gets in there. Let's go, baby. That's a first down. Here we go. The handoff. And Jam Enemy's in there. That's gonna be a 20. Let's go. Six nothing. Iowa State ain't know what the fuck we is. Let's go. Kick us up. It's good. Seven nothing, chat. Oh shit. Oh my god, Allentown. Oh, he dove at his feet. I just tried, man. I really thought we could get the sack there. Regardless, the dump off pass. Maybe it was the pressure we were putting in his face. It's fourth and seven. They're gonna have to punt the football. Fourth and seven, they're gonna kick. And Jam Enemy, who's had a problem lately with punt returns, has got it. He's gonna get he's gonna get separation. He's on the outside. 24 yard return for Jam in me. Get in there. Jam in me. Oh my god, look at the space. Look at the space. Jam in me 16 yard gain. Here we go. Right there. That's a tutty. You know, Mikey, I hope you're ready that this is the final petition. That was almost a pick. If that was a pick, Mikey, I mean, I, I'm going to tell the whole offensive line just to pick up the damn bench on the sideline, and we're going to we're gonna fucking joust. And maybe he's just nervous. Kicks we're going to have to settle for a field goal, though. Kringleberry, the kick is deep. And, and... Yo, did I get it through the upright? Well, <laughs> damn. I don't know, actually, if he got the pick originally, but... Oh, shit, that was a nice little... Oh, I missed. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. There's a carry. The pitch out. Oh, no. Hainline can't get there. Donald's can't get there. Desperation dives all over the place. They got a first down. 
I guess he's not hurt because he just ran the shit out of that ball. Five receivers. Philly Trey going to try to stop him before he gets a first down, and we do not. 11-yard gain for Jason. What was that, Essex? Oh, my God, that was such a quick play. Hughes is going to stop him before he gets in there. Oh, my. What a dive. Tripped him up just before he got in the end zone. I'm ready. He's throwing the football. Throwing the football. Throwing the football. It's a deflection. Let's go. Rocco Beck can't fucking make the play. I don't know if I'm going to like this. Fourth and goal. Fourth and goal. He got it. I fucking hate it here. I hate it here. It's fine. It's 10 to 7. Iowa State slaps back a little bit. That's fine. Here we go. Arson Judge. Right there. Heyman. The catch. First down. Let's go. Threaded the needle, baby. A bullet shot to John Heyman. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The throw. That's a pick. That's a pick. I threw that into so much coverage. I lobbed it too. 55 seconds on the clock. Oh, no. Oh no, that's a big gain right there. 19 yards again, Jason Essex. We got this, I believe, I believe, I believe. Franklin's got to get there, push him out of bounds, do something. There we go, third and seven. I don't know how I feel. Shoe trying to break through. This could be a pick. Oh no, it wasn't, it wasn't. Oh, he was, that was pick sixable. That was a pick six, the lob. Three, two, yep, here we go. Nothing's going to the end zone. That was not good. That was, oh my God, it was almost dangerous. Into the quarter, thank God. Arson Judge needs a good play here. Needs a good play here. Needs a good play. Right over there. That's going to be Heyman. That's a first down. Let's go, baby. Love to see it. He's butt naked. Gets a 21-yard reception. Johnny football. Can he do it? Oh, you jumped. I saw that. Point at him. He slapped me. Here we go. Here we go. Johnny football. He's in. He honestly stumbles in for five yards. Let's go, Chant. We smile. A little play action. A little play action. Oh, I don't like that. I threw a pick. I, I, I know what I did. I know what I did, chat. I hesitated, and then I still went the same. You know, we wouldn't have been in a situation for a pick if we just knew how to throw the fucking ball, Judge, on that fucking, that wide open tutty. Nope, not going to happen. Looks like this is going to be a really good run, too. That's, that's so bad. Has to be a first down. It's unfortunate. It is what it is, though. Allentown. That's a big tackle, third and 12. They tried to run that option. It got me one time in the beginning, the first drive. Third and 12 here. Defense needs to step up. That's a big tackle. That's a big tackle. He bippity boppity boopled all over and landed on his head. What the fuck just happened? Give me some yards. That's fine. That's fine. He's going to go down at the 25. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sandy, get you a carry. Get you a carry. Oh, baby. Got fucking rocked. Holy shit. I ain't no bitch. There's a screen. I'm not going to get the blocks I need. If I went outside, I think I got even less yards to be honest they were screaming at me i needed some of those blocks uh to like to you know fucking happen here we go here we go here we go right there swanee the tight end that's gonna be a first down 14 yard gain let's go swanee with some big catches this drive right here running back get in there oh no was that a bad throw what happened it didn't even look like i was throwing to the running back i wanted to try to hit the running back quick i gotta kick a field goal we have to take the points play it smart play it smart it's up, it's good. 13-7, right? Nope, there's a run actually, as I say that. We'll get a hit. He got four yards with third and nine. Third and nine, that's fine. That's fine. I'm looking over the top, looking over the top. Oh no, that's upsetting. That's upsetting. They threw it over the top right at me. Essentially, there were two dudes. I, I went with the other one. Here we go, third and 18. They're gonna dump it out of bounds. That's fine. Fourth and six. That's not ideal. They got that. They got that pass there quick. Nobody was on him. I didn't like that. Slaughter. Oh, he's so fucking open. Forty-three seconds. Come on, get off of him. Get ah! Uh, no, 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 no. Why are these so open? I don't know how to stop this chat. What is happening? Come on. No. No. Twenty-four seconds on the clock. You got it, you got it, you got to make a play. You got to make a play on that. Come on, second and goal, 20 seconds. Get in there, somebody scream, somebody scream. He threw it away, one second on the clock. Oh my God. Fourth and goal. I, I just don't even know what to do with my Is he open? Is he open? Get the hatch ready. That's gonna do it. Uh, yep. There's two plays that stick out really, really gross. The Mikey drop for a tutty, that sucked. 
that's a horrible way for him to end his school like history here and then the arson judge deep bomb that he just threw away from an uncovered man big loss there to fucking iowa state grow anyway utep moves on in the college playoffs they have beaten penn state 42 to 35 uh ucla beat notre dame 31 to 17 keep in mind chat if you're watching on youtube the editor will have have to throw the blue ridge logo over that but blue ridge loses to iowa state and then uh texas a&m beat alabama 35 to 23 so we're gonna have to save this dynasty here and then now if i come back into the game iowa state playing texas a&m we have utep playing ucla and we are going to sim that game ucla upset the dog shit out of utep 59 to 17 oh my god and then we had we had texas a&m right here we got to play this one sim the game iowa state is taking no prisoners they have beat texas a&m and they will be going to compete for the natty you're looking at ucla playing iowa state in atlanta georgia in mercedes-benz stadium i'm so fucking sad <laughs> Iowa State and UCLA chat for the Natty. The Natty has been won by Iowa State. The underdogs, I think of the century, bro. I don't know, bro. In Atlanta, Georgia to win the Natty. And they are your victors. Chat, we get to the offseason now. Are you excited? I know, it's tough. Now, listen, that was a really big gain for us uh, in terms of how we did that. I mean, you gotta, you gotta, be, you gotta be somewhat proud of the season. It is what it is. We it, we we lost. Our offense was starting to struggle a bit towards, especially the second half of the year. Our defense was still impeccable, and it was impeccable to the end. To be honest, we only gave it 14 points. We got to be able to expect our offense to go out and do more. You know, Kev Kev Allentown, the most sacks. He beats Bama's Derek Thomas. Jam in me set a school record for rushing yards in a season. He beat Pasta La Vista, 1,046 yards. We did start using Jam in me pretty. We started running the ball more. Swanee is gonna uh graduate with the school career record for receptions 186 to beat his own record of 155. swanee also has the most receiving yards in school history 3544. Swanee 29 receiving tds is uh he beat his own record Kev kev allentown set the school record obviously if he set the ncaa record he set school record as well anyway jin the most interceptions in a career for our school uh eight i'm sad with uh, we're number two now god damn it <laughs> We're gonna look at the uh i've been seeing comments on youtube where they've been asking me to look at some of the stats of these guys arson judge our freshman quarterback finished the season with a qb rating of 149.7 through 2679 yards 17 passing touchdowns to go along with 24 interceptions lol Oops. i still stand by going with the freshman over the junior he's a little bit faster a little bit more accurate throws it a little bit harder jam in me is going to finish the season with 1200 rushing yards it's wait no i'm sorry that's his career 1044 he had 14 rushing touchdowns this season for us did not get nearly as many receptions this year man kind of fucked him he was a senior he was fast he, i just didn't feel like he was open as much. i don't know maybe he just wasn't where i look i don't know i don't know andy and swanee were your main targets I actually i don't know i was was that true sandy had 30 receptions 489 yards love it had 42 receptions 740 yards ripper Got 22 receptions for 493 yards in his first season. He's a sophomore. Swanee was the number one target, though. I mean, 30, uh, well, 31 receptions, I guess not. 31, it was, it looked like Mikey was. So wild that Ed Dorsett, another walk-on. Like, we didn't, we didn't use him much, obviously. He only had one reception. Uh, offensive line-wise, Dixie Normus will be back. Um, our left guard will not. Oh, shit, we're losing two left guards. Oh, shit, we're losing three. Oh, my God. Right guard, we've, uh, we're gonna be losing silver. Oh, God. Oh my god. We had guys redshirted. It's fine. It's fine, chat. I'm not worried about we'll get <laughs> uh, we do lose two really good ends here in Kev Kev Allentown and Pert. Four pence, a senior, gone all American. That hurts. All American for Kev Kev Allentown. Did I miss anybody else that was all American? Probably nobody else, to be honest. It, it was probably all defense. But defensively, we do have some exciting stuff. We have Uchiha and Hainline, the freshman. We're gonna be developing hopefully really fucking well. That's that's the goal there. That would be the goal. Sophomore slaughter should continue to grow as well. That would be super fucking nice. He's only a sophomore, all American as well. We are losing the coldest to ever do it, but Greg Gunderville, the sophomore, is gonna be ready to go as well. McDonald's will be back. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. Shit. Oh god, I'm so scared. We did have an all-American freshman in Chase Anders, a cornerback. He is a I mean, he's a freshman. He'll be back. Mangwe Jin is gone. Makes me sad. Um, Oliver Closeoff will be back for his senior season. Uh, Franklin will be back and then little Dimu the freshman should be getting more playing time. He has 94 speed though Uh, safety wise freshman curly pubes should continue to grow. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully 
and then philly trey is gone oh fuck me gently golly dude i'm worried about our defense anyway i'm setting into the season but you know what next year is gonna be even bigger and better curly pubes should continue to grow is the best thing i've heard all week yeah reggie banks and tim cox are still still up for grabs chat still up for grabs you did it coach everyone's so impressed we decided to offer you an extension we started the school's history two and ten which i thought was honestly for the first year everybody being walk-ons i think our team overall was like a 64 nine and five in year two progress 10 and 4 progress 8 and 5 was a bit of a rough season but we won our first ever bowl game progress this year 13 and 1 number one in the nation did we lose in the playoffs yes we did also win the Sun Belt Championship I have three years on my deal left they're offering me a four-year extension it's not that fucking great I already have three years a bitch I'm taking the deal players leaving we didn't lose any quarterbacks nobody left running back Tanner Gorman was viewed incredibly lightly he was a senior I'm gonna be honest with you I don't fucking remember but he graduated good for him Royal our fullback our 54 he graduated he's gone wide receiver Sam Ransom wants to transfer I think I'm gonna let him we have we signed like five different wide receivers I think we let him go Heyman graduated Lovett graduated Dorsett's graduated I think I have no problem letting letting Ransom go we have other options I'm fine letting him go tight end Swanee graduated and we did convince Johnny football to stay he did not get drafted chat the big thing that hurt Swanee was a our ability to not really throw the football as much his senior year and his horrible off-season workout program that he did before senior year he went down quite a bit I want to say he was like an 85 went down to an 82 whereas if he had gone up then we threw the ball to him and he played well he probably would have been drafted senior year was not good for Swanee Tyler Keys the senior has, has graduated our left tackle we lost two guards here in Hatcher and Bowling we lost no centers we lost a right guard in Long John Silver. He has graduated. Right tackle. He has graduated. Kev Kev Allentown is projected to be drafted in the fifth round. But he is going to the draft. Good for Kev Kev Allentown. Uh, we did lose four pence as well, which is hurting us. And then Pert. So we do we lose a lot of defensive end pressure. I, I, I'm very worried about how we're going to do in the future here. Uh, defensive tackle, we do lose Solomon Savage. I want to say, if I remember correctly, he was also walk on in the beginning in the beginning for us. I, I want to say outside linebacker, we lose nobody on the left side. Middle linebacker, we, we're oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, wait, you can't go. Wait, wait, wait. Playing time. Chat, how do we get Sasuke Yoshiha to not leave us? Give me till the end of the week and I'll let you know if I'm staying. I don't like that. Chat, can I also click one of these? He's not your starter. Hey, I think we're going to have to move him. He's not staying. Fuck it. Can I also tell him he'll have nine sacks? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't think he's staying like I don't know how many sacks he'll get there you go I'm moving on you fucking cunts Howell graduated okay god we're gonna be bad we're gonna, I, I think we're gonna be bad I don't think I prepared myself for this this is a, this is a lesson I've learned we've lost Boozman graduates god we're so in trouble Hingle McCringleberry by the way has kicked a 65 yarder did not get drafted we're gonna advance to the recruiting we're still in a battle here seventh round pick we take that this is where we got we got to come up big here we got to come up big right now chat defensive ends we know we need them we just lost quite a few we need reggie banks these are our recruits we did get adam smith he's a short wide receiver but my boy's got wheels on him and i believe we can send him deep and he'll do great he has phenomenal route running uh pretty solid catching i think he's gonna be fun to grow with defensive end sean douglas has committed okay he's not great but he's somebody that i wanted to try to get the, we, we had to try to get some depth there dylan harrell the 12th def, uh, defensive end in the nation did commit to us again he's six feet tall we're used we're used to that 89 finesse move 85 block shed made me excited we also got a wide receiver six foot one uh kelvin williams number four wide receiver in the nation out of mountain brook uh, alabama 94 speed 93 acceleration makes me smile 88 route running we did get offensive line help in Corey alexander and kevin jackson we also got an athlete here i don't fucking remember what he was so i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you but his coverages were there i mean 85 zone 77 right, man then. i don't know do we got cody swan i don't remember what this athlete was i'm gonna be honest he was a gym though and he had speed and i liked him his man coverage and zone coverages look good play recognition was the 66 though eh. we also got lewis sawyer which again 510 I don't remember what he was either. I want to say he was a running back. No, yes, no. Vincent Collins, we did get a little offensive line help uh, for center as well. We did get a new kicker since McCringleberry's gone. God rest his soul. We're gonna have to get used to 84 kick power chat. Uh, we also got Aaron Bl uh, Blunt, Blount, whatever his name is. He's 6'2", 187. Chat, he doesn't have a lot of acceleration or agility, but he has 97 speed. I don't know, it was interesting enough for me to take a grab. Blake Robertson. 
defensive tackle uh he was pretty nice we liked him he's 84 block shed 86 power move which i did enjoy had a little bit of everything too right route running's good catching's eh. i'm gonna put i'm gonna put 5k on reggie banks i think we have to walk away with him i think we have to ah but do i put 4.5 i feel like i'm gonna lose if i don't put five i'm gonna put five five smile i need the tight end i'm gonna put 3k here defensive tackle we want him i'm gonna put 2k on him what did i say i was putting on him 2500 and number 3k on bailey is what you're saying need at least like 4k on cox okay there's 3k on bailey you guys are saying put a little bit more on cox fuck it let's throw 35 i still want this dude man i'm kind of worried i'm not gonna get him i'm gonna go this guy's just a return guy so i don't feel like he's as important i kind of want the cornerback chat especially after seeing that we've had guys with speed transfer and like we're gonna need it i like i like this dude's zone coverage man coverage is fantastic his press is kind of weak good speed good acceleration i'm gonna put a thousand on him chad is that a dumb idea i almost think i let vaughn go with how we've recruited wide receivers how we've redshirted wide receivers somebody told me that if i put 150 i have a chance of them actually just committing so i'm gonna i'm gonna leave 150 on him we put a k on jen 4k on cox really you guys think i need 4k on cox huh here we go chat we're advancing chat i'm not gonna go down the list here but i'm gonna i'm gonna pick a few to read here and let you know cornerback 74 overall jason ginn he has committed to the blue ridge frenchies bitch there's one chat eric vaughn i think he was an athlete 76 overall he has committed to the blue ridge frenchies defensive tackle dan adams 76 overall he has committed to the blue ridge frenchies outside linebacker ryan bailey 71 overall he has committed actually i lied he did not sign with a school he did not commit to anybody it says we are in a recruiting battle so he did not commit he goes without it in the name of tim cox tight end 76 overall he has committed to the blue ridge frenchies baby the defensive end reggie banks 79 overall number two in the nation a big one here a big one he did commit to a school and he committed to the blue ridge frenchies the only one we didn't get was ryan bailey the outside linebacker which i think we can live with my hands it, we're gonna do position this changes I'm gonna move him to an end. He had 64 awareness. I'm very scared to see what this does now. 45, yeah, I'm changing that, I don't care. Two, 65, it's not like I'm putting fucking 100 awareness on dudes. I'm just not letting it get tanked like that. I'm gonna, we're gonna put him on the right end. I'm gonna let the other guy get redshirted. I'm gonna move him. That's our guy. Johnson to safety, I think so. Johnson here, it's all your, there. That works. He is weak carrying, but we can redshirt him. He's a running back. That's what we're doing. All right, fuck it. We're going to do it. Derek Butler, strong safety. We'll redshirt him. We do that. We'll do that. It's fucking Mitchell, dude. I did not see this, man. The game didn't tell me they thought he was a safety either. They thought he was a running back. So then we go like that, right? Yeah, I think that's the move. I know injuries happen, but I still I still think the other guys are going to have back. I think, I think that's what we do. We put him at corner. I'm going to move nuts to fullback. That's what we're going to do. There you go, chat. Advance. Now, this is where a lot of us here get uh, divided. Because what we do is we use the tool here, player progression, just the way it is. We got to upgrade our defensive coordinator. Just thought about that. We have a head coach upgrade. Oh, daddy, give me that fucking lock thing. Because you know your boys can get fucking locked. Um, yes. And then defensive. Fuck it. There, 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 there. Nope. That's not really what I wanted, but there we go. There, 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 there. I have everything. Holy shit. Thank God we signed Kalani Sataki. My defensive coordinator is a fucking legend. I like the tool chat. I think it creates realism. Some guys go up, some guys go down. Here we go. Here's your quarterbacks. Bam. Air, uh, Arson Tank went down to an 84. It makes sense. He didn't play a ton. He didn't play a ton last year. He was a backup. He'll stay a backup. We did get a big plus here from the for the junior and King. And Judge also got a bit of an upgrade here as a sophomore. He's an 87 overall, 81 speed. That's nice. I like that. Jam in me gets a plus three and Pete Davidson it's a plus four holy shit they're neck and neck fullback nuts got better who cares we don't care about nuts if we're gonna be honest wide receiver sandy okay let me tell you something you remember the first time that i ran it and i was like oh man sandy had gone down had gone down hella hard he went down like seven okay but it, it didn't it didn't sit jack the ripper got better jack the ripper had 99 carrying god damn he got a little bit better curd got better bartle did not tight end johnny football gets slightly better makes sense he didn't play a ton last year see enormous 86 overall on the left side god bless america that's huge we needed that left guard giraffe got a plus seven holy shit 83 overall he's gonna be a freshman oh i love i love i love lamp i love lamp uh, baja blast is an 81 we take that we take that all day 
Our left side looks solid. Flynn Rock got a little bit better and Johnny Kirk a little bit better. This will be the weak uh, spot for us. Uh, defensive ends, we have a bunch of freshmen right now. Like that doesn't make sense. That, that, that doesn't shock me. Chu only got better one. Tough. I was hoping for a big explosive senior year. He didn't. Finger Blast got a little bit better as a sophomore. Plus two for Danger, plus four for Matt Diesel. Matt Diesel's a freshman. And so, honestly, I think this is fine. I think this is gonna be fine. I'm with this. Carlos Danger and Matt Diesel. They come up to where they'll be at least solid. They'll be solid, if nothing. That is fine. Hainline, the freshman, gets a plus two. He had a big year. I was hoping for a big explosive boost, but we didn't get it. Soup Jordan gets a plus two, and then Leroy Jenkins gets a minus three. All right. Middle linebacker. Holy shit. Desmond Slaughter, the junior, is a 90 overall now. Uh, McDonald's gets a plus three for his senior year. He'll be an 85 right outside linebacker. Uh, Gunderville gets a plus three. He'll be an 83. And uh, Tyler Assboy, the junior, will have a plus 372. Cornerbacks. Okay, we got some nice boosts here. I am very sad off the rip to see Chase Anders. He's now going to be in his sophomore year. He did get a minus one. That's tough. That hurts a little bit. That stings. But Seth Franklin, the senior, and Oliver Klozoff, the senior, they both get big boosts. Oliver Klozoff, the 85 overall. Franklin, an 84. Anders hurt. Sasuke, who exactly? Uchiha's gone. He transferred. Fuck him. Uh, Lil Demu became more of a little bitch. 69 overall. Borders is a 71. Our safeties. Pubes gets a plus two. Curly Pubes, the, the freshman. Now he's a sophomore. 90 speed, 79 overall. And then Suck My Bick is now an 80 overall. Interesting. Dingleberry gets a plus six, 77 overall now. And Stevenson, a 76 plus four. Stevenson's also still just a sophomore. So I'm kind of, I'm, I'm fine with that. We ride. And then no uh, no improvements to our kicker because he's going to be a freshman. And then our punter is now an 82 overall. Let's go look at his numbers. Power 84, kick accuracy 81. I don't know, chat. I mean, the one that really stings is is Chase Anders getting a, a little downgrade. It wasn't, it wasn't big, but it would have been cool to see him go up. I'm down with the sickness. It's time to cut players, chat. Actually, we I, have to I cut no one. I just don't even know what to do with my hands. We have a perfect fucking, a perfect sized roster. No one gets cut. Yay! We run custom conferences. Now, chat, we are going to move conferences here since we did win the Sun Belt Conference uh, Championship. We did that. So now we have to leave the Sun Belt. It's time. It's time for us to move. Now, chat, we literally won our first bowl. We're leaving the Sun Belt. We're going to a harder, but not the fucking SEC. We are leaving and we're going to the ACC. Vandy might need to leave the Sun Belt. Yeah, I agree. I agree. We can move them to uh, what ACC as well, I guess. And then we're gonna move Vandy. They're gonna come with us. Who doesn't belong here, chat? I don't. I don't know, and I I, I don't know things. Help me. Chat, we might get to play Boston College again. Smile. That was fun. Uh, put put noted. Uh, should I move them? Chat. Who who else belongs here that's not here that should be here? Here's the thing. I don't trust all that. Like we know Boston College is like an 82 overall. Fuck them. No, leave it. Leave it. Yes, leave it. We played Florida State before. We played Boston College. We played Syracuse. I think I beat all of them. We've beat Wake Forest. We've beat Vanderbilt. I want to be here. Don't move them. Okay, leave it. It's fine. Looks fine. No, I'm gonna keep. I'll, I'm, I'll bring Vandy with us then. Since we had relegated them, we'll bring them. Stay. Okay. Good balance. We ride. We ride. We're advancing. We'll do the Iowa State one. Two ranked teams. We'll do that. Fuck it. Let's do that. We'll play. We'll just say Miami up here, and it'll say Hard Rock. We'll make that a neutral site game. That'll be fun. That's a hard schedule. A. We play one, two, three four rank 25 and up teams and like honestly virginia tech at one point was rated last season weren't they or am i thinking of somebody else syracuse was rated at one point i think this is a good schedule i'm locking it in that's our schedule okay chat i'm gonna go change the names of people on johnson the free safety we got has been renamed to cal l defensive tackle blake robertson that we recorded or that we recruited is named penis he was redshirted aaron blunt the wide receiver, he was renamed to Daddy Demu Jr. Or kicker that we recruit, recruited, His name was Connor Davis. He's been renamed to Harry Ballsack. Uh, we have Lorenzo Collins. He's been renamed to William Hung. We have cornerback Lewis Slayer, who was renamed to Bobby Boucher. We have cornerback Cody Swan, renamed to Jack Sparrow. Ke uh, tackle uh, Kevin Jackson was renamed to Ligma Balls. To we had uh, free safety keith mitchell he was an exciting one we got he was renamed to cameron gilliam uh tackle Corey alexander has been renamed to moist man wide receiver kelvin williams one of, one of our exciting recruits here the the freshman 
has been renamed to Taiwan Walker. Offensive end Dylan Harrell got renamed. Doug Dimadome. Offensive end Sean Douglas got renamed. Girth Brooks. Wide receiver Adam Smith, the other uh, exciting wide receiver prospect we had, was renamed to Christopher Snow. We had left end Reggie Banks, our exciting left end that we're hoping replaces Kev Kev Allentown, renamed to Slick Willie. Offensive tackle Dan Adams was renamed to Big Henny. Derek Vaughn, we, the, the athlete we made a running back, was renamed to Ernest Stroker. And the tight end named Tim Cox was renamed to Long Bomb Garner. One more chat. Cornerback Jason Jin was renamed to Johnson Donson. Those, those are our renames. When I came over here, chat, we did the red shirt stuff. I did that off cam so that we could just go through it real quick. We red shirted Ernest Stroker, Daddy Nimu Jr. We red shirted Ligma Balls. We red shirted Girth Brooks. We red shirted uh, Brian Butler. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't recruit anybody named Brian, but I don't remember seeing this. But he's a freshman and he wasn't a transfer, so I don't understand. I guess we could just rename him, chat, but I'm kind of confused. We red shirted Penis and Big Henny, Johnson Donson and Jack Sparrow, the cornerbacks. We red shirted Cal L, the free safety, and then we also red shirted Derek Butler. Again, don't recognize him but he is a strong safety. That's our red shirts. That's what we're going with. I've shown you the depth chart. I've done it all. I've shown you our schedule. Let's go to the recruiting. This dude, I don't know what the fuck I thought he was going to be, but he wanted to play for us and he's the number two athlete out of Brunswick, Georgia. Five stars, six foot five, 218. Yeah, we're fucking scouting you. You could be a quarterback, 90 speed, 82 throw accuracy, 84 throw power. Hello, Isaiah Hines. And then bam. Oh fuck, we need you, baby. I don't know, scout him. God, uh, you got a downgrade, but you're not terrible. Marcus Woods, we'll keep that in mind. Yeah, but you're kind of ass. Okay, cool, nice. 84 speed, wow, you have no acceleration. Wow, you both suck. This quarterback, I gotta know, I gotta know. Are you good? 89 speed, 79 throw accuracy, 80, God. Um, I think Travis Bray is still 100% the move though, to be honest. 78 route running is fine, he's gonna grow. Look at this guy, broken gym. Yeah, you're trash. Uh, were you, was you interested in me? No, Nick Clark is gone. Remove him off the board. Thank you, thank you. Uh, middle linebackers, I do feel like we definitely need, so I wanna scout these guys. Him, so. Might be fun to use her. I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud, chat. Okay, okay. You'd be, you would be 91 tackles, 77 hit power, 83 block shed. His coverages are eh. Josh Gibbons feels like a, like a guy I really need. He's a Juco player. I didn't notice that. 